I'm going to speak about racism and racism laws in America. Um, racism is still very much so an issue in America today. Uh, it has been for over a decade. And, but it is getting better. So one of the articles that I did read upon was an article called Existence of Racism in High School History Classes. Um, it was an article written by a young lady that she observed most high school classes and what she did notice was how they didn't speak on a lot of black history. I mean, they did talk about black history, but it was more so of the ones that we are already familiar with, like Martin Luther King and Rosa Parks. Uh, she did also mention how most schools were learning from a textbook that was called Nation to Nation. And it, it goes to talk about how um, they did talk about black people, but they didn't talk about them in a very positive way. They talked about them more so in a negative way. Um, they talked about how black people were intelligent. They talked about how they were all violent and aggressive. Um, and of course, you know, that is not the case. Um, another article that I did read upon was called Races, Stereotype, Threat, and Civil Rights. Um, it basically talked about how white people were stereotyped um, by not by the character they weren't judged by their character they was more so judged by the crowd that they was around um, and also they did one psych psychiatrist did happen to name that as um, stereotype threat which can be stressful as well because just because you're around a certain crowd doesn't give you the, the right to call somebody racist. Another thing that I did speak about, I did read about is called racism in the law. And it goes to speak about when first, slavery first began, which first began with the English colonists in Virginia around the year 1607. Um, it lasted for about 350 years. And it talks about a lot of cases. It talks about how Thomas, when Thomas Jefferson first stated the quote, all men are equal. And after that, there was a case that was called the Dred Scott versus the, it was the Dred Scott case versus the Morgan case, I believe. And it just talks about how there was a Missouri slave that was named Scott, and he he went up against a case about being a free citizen, um, even though he did win the case. It was still um, that he, even though he still won the case of being the free citizen, pr racist pre prejudice still overshadowed justice. So I mean, he won the case, but things were still the same. Um, together, I better understand the what the the things that the ones before us went through, and I see why they fought to get us get us to where we are now. Um, it makes me understand their situation better and it makes me be grateful for where I am today. Thank you.